If we want to occupy the political space because we believe as women, in partnership with men, of course, that we are best placed to bring about the social changes, the transformation in our society, then I think it can't just be about numbers. It has to be about what we do to those who are the most vulnerable in society, but has the, and that's women, but they've got the best potential to change families, to change the communities, and to change the societies in the, on the whole. So we've got to find a way to chase that. So we've got to hold that kind of power. In many respects, I actually am a politician that became a politician accidentally. Um, I, I worked pre-1994, I, I worked in the, the underground of the ANC, I worked in the NGO sector, I worked in the UDF. I always wanted to work for justice, for peace, for a better life for people. What the needs are and where government has to intervene to ensure that I believe that you must mainstream gender. But it doesn't mean you mustn't speak about gender. When we're building houses, how many of those houses are houses we're building for female-headed households? Because at some point, 40% of the households in our province was headed by women. So, so for me, it's in everything we do. How in finance and economic development, I every year ask my department to say, now in the 28 billion rand we have, what percentage do you think directly go to women? And show me how that happens. Because that's, the, in a way, it's the anchor of our society. And you've got to, you've got to make money follow the anchor in our society if you want to change the society as a whole. And it's not impossible. You know, I don't think it's an impossible task. What's important for me as a Premier is to ensure that I did not raise women in a way that didn't balance out with raising men but the society at whole. For many years I struggled with the term feminist. But I think it's probably the one thing that saves me constantly, is that I am a feminist. I do believe that women have been excluded and purposely excluded. And therefore, women must be purposely included. And do you solemnly promise to perform your function as a member of the provincial? I remember at some point we used to call ourselves womanists and this, all the stuff because it was called by black Americans and not by white Americans. And I don't think it's important. I, but I also don't think labeling is, in, labeling is that important. But I don't think we must, um, we must marginalize ourselves either. We know pre-1994 that the reason why we had health NGOs, um, NGOs that dealt with violence against women, NGOs that dealt with housing issues, we know we had those because they helped us to formulate our ideas about what it was that we wanted, what we had to do, and how we had to interact with the state. Now we must have those NGOs back on track again so that it holds the state accountable they brought the state into power, so they must hold the state accountable for it. We must work together to create a structure that actually holds women accountable and holds men accountable for gender issues. 
I think feminism is a viable political vehicle. If you think of the essence of feminism, for me it is about the women's empowerment it is, and women in power. It is about the fact that we are understanding the situation on the ground and we are creating policies and implementing the policies for the largest possible grouping of people who have been excluded. And those are women.